long one, long one, long one. You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic, ESPN's top 10 players at their positions has come to its conclusion. And the last list of the top 10 quarterbacks in the league is now out. Look. Now, I want to make sure that I say this, right? Because a lot of times, you know, I, 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 I go on a rant defending Lamar Jackson. And at this point, I'm just tired. You're ever been exhausted and you're just like, I don't care no more. I'm just lost in the ether. Time to hit the pillow, guys. Only thing I want to see is inside of my eyelids. <laughs> when it comes to these top 10 lists, that's exactly where I'm at. Because it just, it, it, it's so ridiculous, right? How they grade Lamar and how any achievement done by his contemporaries is exalted. Like high praise from his uh, his almighty all high. Hallelujah. He made this Super Bowl. Hallelujah. He came five Hallelujah. seconds Hallelujah. from beating Patrick Mahomes. Oh my God. That's how they, it's like they bring it to the altar. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. <laughs> hey. But Lamar's, it's ah. But he didn't win a Super Bowl, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Here it goes. You see it for yourself. Patrick Mahomes is undoubtedly number one. The man is, I mean, already ranking as a top three quarterback of all time. He got three championships, two MVPs, 5,000-yard passing season, a 50-touchdown passing season. The guy is legit. I don't care with uh, Tyreek. I know his stuff is dropped since Tyreek is um, left, but they won two championships without Tyreek. His stats might have dropped, but the wins kept on rolling. So, yeah, there's that. So, number one, of course, you got Patrick Mahomes. Number two, you got Joe Burrow. Jesus. Make it make sense. Seriously. His backup outplayed him. He had, I was like, oh, he's, he's hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. Then we had a good game. Oh, Joe's back, he has another bad game. Oh, but he still hurts. <laughs> I can literally make the argument that if his backup started the entire year, the Cincinnati Bengals would have made the playoffs last year. Matter of fact, I don't even know if it's even an argument that I have to make. The proof is in the pudding. They got him at number two. And even if that he was going to say he was injured, when it came to Lamar, it's he has to prove that he doesn't, he he got to prove that he can be healthy and finish a season. Uh, and that was after, oh, my bad, guys. <laughs> and that was after back-to-back. -back. That was after back-to-back -back almost non-injured season. That was the, the 2019 season, and remember the COVID year, right? COVID happened. And outside of missing game for COVID, he was always healthy. And what happened? Oh, he has to prove he can play a full season. So what? that's why we don't got him top five. It doesn't seem to go for Joe Burrow. It doesn't seem to be able to go for Joe Burrow. Now we got Josh Allen, the turnover king himself. You're the Dairy Queen and stuff like that, this man is the turnover king. Exalt his highness. Ah, <laughs> uh, Let me stop, though. Because, I listen, as much as people make fun of Josh Allen, and I know he's turnover prone, the guy does make plays. I, I really, I, I, it's undeniable, you know. And, and I, I always try to keep things in context. I just don't have him above Lamar. I have... I have said this a multitude of times. I have Josh Allen number three. I do not have Joe Burrow number two or number three. I got Patrick Mahomes, Lamar, Josh Allen. To me, those are the three best quarterbacks in today's league. 
And I don't know how you can really argue it, but people keep arguing it. But whatever. So Josh Allen, number three, I would agree with where him be at. I would switch Lamar Jackson up to number two. And of course, you know, then Lamar Jackson's number four, as you've seen. I don't even want to talk on it. It's it's ridiculous. The man's a two-time MVP. Two-time. And he was almost unanimous. Like, what are we doing here? He was one vote from being a two-time unanimous. This notion that Lamar has to win a Super Bowl to validate his MVPs, why was that not the case for Dan Marino then? And if y'all gonna say, well, Dan Marino passed 5,000 yards, he did that once. Once. Go look at his stats. Since y'all love stats so much. This is the stuff that really bothers me. Because it's like, you guys don't mind being hypocrites in y'all arguments. Like, if you're going to argue against me, you have to keep it consistent. Because I'm going to bring up all the wrong stuff you do in your arguments. And context has, context has to be made also in your statements. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all don't use context when it comes to Lamar. Y'all just say, hey, it is what it is. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, to the execs that said Lamar Jackson's done number two. You deserve all of this. You deserve this worship. Right hand of fellowship. Again. Oh! Tired of it, man. Playing with this man's name, bro. Actually, yo, let me stop, though. Y'all be really making me bad, bro. Really be making me bad. Right? Matthew Stafford. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with this one because if I had it my way, like I said, my top five would probably be Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen. Number four, that's what I would probably put Matt Stafford at four. I'd put Joe Burrow at five. That's called context feed. And number six, for me, would be Jalen Hurts. And everybody else would fall into then C.J. Stroud and Dak Prescott and Jared Goff. That's how it would fall for me. I keep saying, for all of the Cincinnati Bengal fans that make the argument and live in the past of, oh, he made it to a Super Bowl, that's why? Jalen Hurts made it to a Super Bowl. He didn't just make it to a Super Bowl. The man put out one of the most, one of the greatest statistical lines and performances we've ever seen in the Super Bowl. Why is he not held to this day? Even the year after, y'all can say, well, that was in the past, Nitro. Context. The year after he made the Super Bowl, people were like, nah, he's not a top two, top three quarterback in this league. So make it make sense. Joe Burrow eked into the playoffs that year. Eked. This man Jalen then was kicking butts and taking numbers. And I don't want to hear about Jalen Hurts' weapons because Joe Burrow has nothing but weapons. And we all said when A.J. Brown was going over, nobody would have taken Chase, uh uh-uh, taken A.J. Brown over Chase. Nobody. Because remember, that's when A.J. Brown got traded from the Tennessee Titans to Philly. Remember, I was champion, like, please, Baltimore, he's a dog. Yeah, yeah! And they were like, nah, we all need him. We all need him. We all need him. We're going to call back Willie Steen and, and, and Des Bryant to come back. That's all we need. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh. So please make it make sense. Oh, the hypocrisy. Oh, hypocrisy. And all oh, the lies they sell themselves. Oh, something happened, and now oh, I know you're hypocrite. And only God can save you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo! Yo, 
straight hypocrisy, bro. I can't with y'all, bro. I can't. I can't. Oh, Joe Burrow made it to the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts made it to the Super Bowl. Oh, oh my God. Touch push. Who cares? Look at him. He even looks the part. That's how you know that there's more underlining things. Because I've heard this even from analysts when they talk about Joe Burrow. But look at him. He, even, he looks the part. I'm just going to leave that there, though. But what do you guys think? Where do you rank this list? How do you like it? Do you respect it? Do you think it's great? Do you think it's magical? Or do you think it, like I do, and think it's hypocrisy? Hypocrisy! <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comment section, all right? But as always, <gasps> that's the episode of The Wonderkind Show! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know I love the comments. If you have not done so already, check out the one that can Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content. Get this way via consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Guys, you're going for 10,000 subscribers. Please tell people about the one that can show this grossest thing the right way. And if, and if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that. Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app, cash is located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. Once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off, and as always, you know my slogan. <gasps> Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yerp. Finish him, daddy. Oh!